I'm not going to consult a board. I might get my grandparents or I might get a demon. Hey, Grandma. Remember that time when you gave me a birthday card with $20 in it? Well, Mom took the $20. Beat me. <laughs> oh, I don't think this is grandma. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are tuning in from. This is the BS Buddies Podcast. I'm your host, Joe. That is your host, Ian. We're talking about spooky stuff. Uh, we are going to talk about um, Ouija boards, tarot cards, all that witchy stuff. And before you click off, because I know my mom probably will want to click off because she doesn't like talking about this sort of stuff. Don't worry. We're not going to, we don't have any of the stuff we're just going to talk about how we feel about it and ian and i feel the same about it that's pretty spooky that's all i got uh the wasn't it charlie charlie are you here like in high school that stupid thing where you if you don't know what i'm talking about you you put a piece of paper no on two two diagonal pieces and yes on two diagonal pieces you put a pen on pen on top of a pen and whatever it tilted on it was yes or no it, it was so stupid um, oh my god that was the dumbest trend and i'm so glad that that died out that was <laughs> i'm so stupid. glad i brought it back up uh ian how are you doing and what are your thoughts on this even though we have the same thoughts well i'm actually doing quite wonderful because it's a nice sunny day out and the temperature was quite lovely today so thank you for that um secondly my thoughts on all of this stuff is that i have never had any personal experience with any of it so it it's definitely one of those things that i view as as an outsider i definitely think that it gets um what would be the correct term for it hollywood eyes a lot you know because that this kind of thing like do we do ouija boards and you know the when people like, you know, the old, they light the sage and wave it back and forth. I think that a lot of it gets very dramatized in Hollywood. So I think people actually have a lot of misconceptions about like what actually goes on behind the scenes for a lot of this stuff, you know? And so I can't say that I've had any personal experiences to draw on, but I can say that uh, even though I wouldn't call myself firm believing in the supernatural, I also know enough to not go poking my nose in things I don't fully know or understand. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was saying earlier, do I think if I walked out into the woods right now, I'd automatically get mauled by a bear? No. Am I going to go walk out into the woods covered in salmon and screaming like a dying jackrabbit at the top of my lungs? Also, no, because you never know when there might be a black bear. Maybe he's just admiring some creek a ways away and hears me and comes running. No, thanks. Not going to chance that. For me, I do have personal experience. Um, and a lot of you are probably thinking, what? Joe has personal experience with one of these? All the presses. Not... Stop the presses. Stop uh, the presses. Call the newspapers. And Get by... a hold of the mayor. And by personal experience, I mean, um, I've seen a Ouija board in person and I said, nope, and walked away pretty much. Uh, when I was in about, <laughs> and this is going to sound crazy, fourth or fifth grade, maybe sixth grade, I went to a friend's birthday party and we hung out at his place for the whole day. And later at night, like he was going to have a sleepover. I'm glad I didn't spend the night, by the way. I, uh, yeah, I didn't want to. <laughs> and I'm glad. You were just like, no, I'm not going to participate in any of that nonsense. At the end of the night, the, the dude who was having the party pulled out a Ouija board. And for those of you who don't know, um, I grew up Catholic and... One big thing is like all this stuff that we're talking about is a big no. That's why I said like, "Hey, mom, like, stay on the video. It's, big, it's okay." Um, it's a big no. Yeah, it's huge. Like, do not mess with it. So, at a young age, I knew about it, and as soon as I saw what was going on, I'm like, "Okay, I need to leave." So, like, I walked upstairs and like I stayed away from it and. They had asked the ghost what someone was wearing, and the ghost said hat. And 
So they came upstairs freaking out about it. Uh, That's yeah. when you go into the control room and you flip the breakers on and off to really screw <laughs> up. <laughs> Which, funny, funnily enough, um, I went to Catholic school with all of these people who were at this party as well. So it was a great, great time. Uh, but I ended up actually leaving shortly after that. Not for that reason, but they were settling in for the night after. But... Again, I'm glad I left. Uh, so that's my personal exper experience with it. But my take on it, kind of like Ian said, like he he doesn't believe in like the spiritual, like ghost stuff, but he's not one to mess around with it. If you've been on the channel, I've had experiences with ghosts that I didn't ask for. And um, I believed before that. I wasn't a skeptic. But I definitely believe after that. But I'm, for me, I know and like I've heard of experiences that people have had with this. Uh, and more the realm of tarot cards and Ouija boards and stuff like that. And I'm not one who's going to go out of my way. Like I don't need to contact the dead. I'm just going to say that like <laughs> I have no th reason to <laughs> things happen for a reason. And as much as I would love to like talk to past relatives, I'm not going to consult a board where I might, I might get my grandparents or I might get a demon that's going to stay in my house for the rest of my life and past that. Hey grandma, you remember that time when I was like, eight years old and you gave me a birthday card with twenty dollars in it well mom took the twenty dollars can you have can you let me have another twenty dollars <laughs> beat me <laughs> oh i don't think this is grandma <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's that's why i don't mess with that uh the what? other thing that i brought up with ian is like chris like the crystal ball and like palmistry Th those i feel like are just kind of wacky like you so you're telling me you can look at my palm and tell me my future or you can look into this crystal ball and you'll be able to say what's going to happen in my life uh those ones i think are a little zany the tarot cards i believe to a degree and in the sense of more of the law of attraction i see it more which like, hey, this horrible thing is going to happen to you because these cards and you're going to say like kind of in the movies, like, no, that's not going to believe. But then you think about it and think about it and think about it until eventually right. the natural law of attraction says, hey, he wants that. Let's ruin his life because a card told told him so. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not going to lie. I've always looked at those. I was just going to say, I've always looked at it, you know, like the whole uh, reading palms and the crystal ball and all that stuff. I've looked at it more as along the same lines as uh, where fortune cookies do what they do. You know, everybody breaks a cookie open. They pick vague general statements that could apply to almost anybody's life. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's what your future will be. And honestly, I don't think I've ever seen any harm in it, but... You know, I've yet to see one of those scenarios where that prediction actually comes true word for word. Like, if you're going to predict my future, I want you to give me a specific three days from now at 4.53 p.m. You will find a $20 bill on the sidewalk. Like, I better be able to get an exact measurable time and date. And they never can. They Ian, never have, can. have you lost $20 recently? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let me check my wallet. Uh, with tarot cards though, like I've seen them sold in stores and it's just one thing that I just try and stay away from. It interests me just because it's like, it's just something that I've never been, um, experienced or I don't know how to put this exactly. Like, like I said, like growing up Catholic, it's just a no. And for me, there's like cur curiosity is a good, good word. Curiosity in it but not enough curiosity to go out of my way <laughs> to uh, delve into that. Um, right. so I will say there's one, there's one way I do delve into it, but it's through a video game. 
Um, if you've ever heard of the game Phasmophobia, uh, basically uh, you go into the house. It's a ghost hunting game. And there's cursed objects, so two of them are tarot cards and a Ouija board. Um, I don't usually use the Ouija board because it's just kind of more of a pain. Uh, you'll see on TikTok people using it in the game and just asking stupid questions because it's kind of like a 50-50 if it's going to answer yes or no if you're just asking random stuff. <laughs> um, the tarot cards I usually go for in the game because... Uh, the different cards do different things so it's either it's going to like throw an out the ghost is going to throw an object or it's going to uh straight up unalive you if you pull a wrong card um that's the only <laughs> way to like i'll deal interact delve with delve in it in a video game and uh there was one time uh on my main channel which is linked down below i don't post there anymore as of right now but there's one game devour which it's all about you it's like slenderman but you're summoning a demon in the game and i titled the video summoning a demon and my mom my mom had a talk with me and, <laughs> and said hey that's not good why are you doing <laughs> that i'm like i'm sorry it's a video game we had we had some laughs um i'm not terrifying really summoning a demon i am not the game was that. scary but i am okay yeah these games are scary but they're games i'm not gonna do it in real life it... yeah i know it's not good to do in person that's why i do it in video games honestly i think one of the craziest things to me that comes with stuff is like i said before is the hollywoodization like you used to be able to i'm pretty sure you still can you could just buy like hasbro made ouija boards where it's like you know they were like made as uh, marketed as gimmicks for kids to have which i think is pretty if you look at like what the history behind ouija boards is and how everyone perceives them today to also have them be oh yeah, here's this fun kids toy contact your missing relatives and see if they'll you know respond to you and it uh, i don't know i never got behind that type of just I don't know. I never thought it would work, but I also was never interested enough to try, I guess would be a good way to put it. Like, I don't, I don't need to be going around testing anything that I don't fully understand, as I said before, because that's just not something that I'm interested to learn about. <laughs> yeah, I definitely believe in like the spiritual realm and that uh, everything's interconnected. And in that being so, I understand that there's bad things that can be connected and I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. I, I just want to stay at home, chill, talk to the people who are alive and with me. Um, and don't need that, to walk through a minefield that I don't know where the mines are. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't need that in my life. I got enough going <laughs> on. I, I don't need to deal with Jerry who passed away on this property a hundred years ago who wants revenge and I'm the yeah. closest person to seek revenge on. Not not for me. Not for me. If if that's something you guys delved in, like you go for it. It's it's not for me. I'm not gonna go around dealing with it. I gotta work and pay bills. You think I'm gonna be able to deal with Schmelback the angry throwing chairs <laughs> around my dining room? Are you kidding me? Do I look like the kind of man who has that kind of time on his hands? No, I got other stuff going on. I can't be dealing with flying furniture and all that other nonsense. We have very nah. different ghosts that are in our property. Can you even say that name again? Schmelback, I think it was. <laughs> Morbius. Morbius. His name is Morbius. That's what I'm deciding. Schmeldak Morbius. Um, I think we beat this into the ground enough. I think we did. Probably I six feet I... deep if we're getting specific. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> knee slapper. What a pun. But this wow. this one better stay in the ground Whoa. after. We, we are not reviving this one. I'm leaving it out to pasture. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now it's quote time. 
And uh, I, I got a funny quote to lighten the mood. Nice. Um, this is by the person named Anonymous. And oh, love that guy. I think because so many people have said this. I prefer not to think before speaking. I like being as surprised as everyone else by what comes out of my mouth. And I think that's just our podcast in general. Yeah, that's just about everything in general. Like the fact that uh, the dog just um, was raising hell across the house. Could you hear that? <laughs> I Tell me you heard that. I heard a little bit of a growl, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, uh, to finish it out, my quote is make today beautiful so that your yesterday is something you'll smile about tomorrow. Yeah, and make sure you can smile about it. Don't summon a demon. It's not worth it. Oh. Yeah, no. Flying furniture is never something to smile about. Smile, 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 smile about. <laughs> Word. Schmalak or whatever your ghost. <laughs> Morbius. <laughs> Take her easy thank, now. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to become a bud today, and we will see you next time when we don't summon a demon onto the podcast. Uh, when Schmorbius learns to pay his rent for breaking all them chairs. <laughs> we will see you next time. See you guys.